was up, you guys? WWE Fan0599 here again, and today we're going to be doing a top 10 list. And today's top 10 list will be my top 10 favorite Arrow characters. Since there's no new episode of Arrow this week, I figured why not do this top 10 list of my top 10 favorite Arrow characters. So, I have two honorable mentions I want to give out. First, Raz Al Ghul. Now, he's a much newer character to the series. And, um, you know, he's a very menacing villain. And Natasha Al Ghul, who is the daughter of Raz Al Ghul. I've always liked her whenever she was on screen. She, she's a great character. So those are my both of my honorable mentions. So let's get right into the top 10 list. Watcha! At number 10 is Malcolm Merlin. Okay, 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 okay. Back up for a second. Okay. Now, you're probably why, like, why do you have this psychopathic killer on your list as number 10? For favorite characters. Okay. Let me explain why. Alright. He is a very, very interesting character, in my opinion. I've always been... And plus, trust me, I despise him as well. But, I just can't help to be interested in his character. And like, and like being interested in his character. Because he's a very interesting person. He is in the show. He's great at making you not like him. So yeah, I've always really enjoyed Malcolm Merlin, even though, you know, he is a psychopathic killer, and yeah. But, I still always enjoyed his character, I've always enjoyed seeing him on screen, so yeah. Malcolm Merlin comes at number 10. Number 9, Ray Palmer. He is great, he really is, and he became one of my favorite characters Really, really fast. He is great. Brandon Ralph is great as Ray Palmer. And Ray Palmer is just a very energetic character, in my opinion. He really is. He is just has so much enthusiasm, enthusiasm, in my opinion. And he just got the Adam suit built. So coming in at number eight is Detective. Quentin Lance. Now, Detective Quentin Lance is an awesome character, in my opinion. I've always enjoyed him ever since I saw him in Season 1. You know, even though he was trying to take down Oliver, I'm like, please don't. He's actually doing good for your city. Yeah, but I still enjoy this character, especially when he tell Laurel to basically go away. You know, whenever he told Laurel off, I was like, you're the man. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, Detective Lance, you know, he's he's a very interesting character as well. I've always liked his character. Coming in at number 7 is Tommy Merlin. Tommy Merlin, at first I thought, I said this in my Season 1 review on my own channel, I said that I thought he was just going to be the goofy best friend and I was going to despise this character, but no. He actually became, with Oliver, the most developed character in Season 1. I mean, you see his character grow so much. I mean, and it's awesome. And so, yeah, I love seeing his character grow so much in that season. He's just a great character. Number 6, John Diggle. Now, you're probably surprised that he's so low on this list. And I am too, because especially another person that's coming up on my list, I was surprised that he made he made it into the top five. But we'll get into him after. John Diggle. John Diggle is great. The reason I love this character is because he's the one that always sticks with Oliver, no matter what. They could have North Korea on them, and he would still be by Oliver's side. Okay, I mean, it's John Diggle is just awesome. And overall, he's just a great character. I've always really enjoyed him. Even though in season one, like in the first few episodes of season one, I was like, stop, stop, you know, for making him 
you know, go out at night and stuff. So coming in at number five is Roy Harper. Now, this character, I didn't really enjoy this character at season one. You know, he was just okay. But through the midway of season two, I was like, this character is great. Because they started doing the Batman and Robin type of thing. Batman's training Robin. In this case, Green Arrow is training Roy Harper into becoming Arsenal. And I love that. I love seeing that. And Roy has shown really his most in season three. And he is great. He really is. Especially when Oliver, you know, was gone for a while. He was trying to take up for, you know, Oliver's place. And it was great. I really enjoyed seeing that. Coming at number four is Sarah Lance. Sarah Lance is great. She really is. I've always been invested in her character ever since... We were kind of introduced to her in season one, but season two she came into full force, and I always really enjoyed seeing her character. She's great, you know. I she, I just love her character, and Sarah's just a great character in my opinion. Coming at number three, my favorite female character on the entire show. I'm pretty sure this is for everybody. Felicity Smoke. Felicity Smoke is, you know, she was the only female I liked in season one. Because no, the others were so unlikable. Thea. Um, even more wasn't really great in season one. And especially Laurel. Felicity was a nice fresh, uh, fresh of air, you know, and it was great. And, you know, I, I just loved... Seeing, seeing Felicity throughout all three of these seasons, even though she's kind of becoming what the others became in season one and season three, just, please don't, but I still really enjoy Felicity no matter what, so yeah. So coming at number two is probably everybody's top two, so yeah. <laughs> number two is, hello kid. Slade Wilson slash Deathstroke. He is awesome. Okay, this... Manu Bennett, you, my, fr you, my friend, knock it out of the park as Slade Wilson slash Deathstroke. He is just great. He is... I love this character. I mean, he is just so awesome. And, you know, he's just such an interesting villain. And you're very interested into his character. Alrighty, it is now time for the number one, my number one favorite char Arrow character of all time. Who is it? Who is it? Boom! Oliver Queen slash Green Arrow. Okay, that was predictable from the start, I know, but... Yeah, come on. I mean, how can he not be my favorite character? He's mostly everybody's favorite character. He's the protagonist of this series, you know? He's the main character. You follow him throughout this entire show. And he's just great. You know, Stephen Amell does a great job as Oliver Queen slash Green Arrow. I love Oliver Queen slash Green Arrow as a character. He is my favorite character from Arrow. He is just awesome. So, yeah. So, that is my top ten favorite Arrow characters. What is your top ten favorite Arrow characters of all time? Leave them in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace.